The FBI estimates that more than $1 billion will be paid to ransomware extortionists this year. Ransomware has gone pandemic. And in other news, we know our smart doorbells work to keep us safe, but are they also a liability? Learn how they are collecting data on who and what enters our homes. Hello? Uh, all right, I'm on my way. What happened? Someone opened an email that they shouldn't have. It looks like the attackers fished someone from sales. They've encrypted everything, and they want half a million in Bitcoin. Where are our backups? We only keep them local for seven days. And the InfoSec team said that the ransomware has been sitting dormant for weeks. All of the local backups got deleted by the attack anyway, so we're gonna have to restore from tape. Well, if tape's our only option, we have to use it. How are we doing? So we've run into a lot of issues trying to recover from tape. Honestly, it might take a few weeks. I don't know if we have that kind of time, but what else can we do? We pay the ransom. It's not a guarantee we'll have immediate access to our data. Keep trying. Understood. We're doing all we can, but we're retrieving offsite backups, and it's taking too much time. She said pay the ransom. What happened? Uh, someone opened an email that they shouldn't have. Looks like the attackers fished someone from sales and they gained access to our systems. They've encrypted everything and they want half a million in Bitcoin. Where are our backups? So good news, we, we use Rubrik for backup and Rubrik stores all of our data in an immutable format, which means it's uncompromised. Plus, they also give us insights into what was affected by the ransomware attack. So we're able to restore just that data. Yeah. The security team's working on the forensics. Once we get the go ahead, we'll be able to restore all the systems protected by Rubrik in minutes. I'll notify the CIO. We don't need to pay the ransom. We've got backups. 